Now then, people, it's Joe, All East TV. Um, and this, well, this is my first video, really, that, you know, um, it's not really, it's not really going to be a positive one, as you can imagine. Um, we've just been humbled by West Brom at the Hawthorns, 4-1. Um, late consolation for Pablo. Um, and to be honest, I don't, like, I look at the game um, and... and there's just been too many individual errors. Um, Dallas was out of place a lot of times um, at right back. You know, we discussed, I thought, to be fair, the first half, you know, I think about 40 minutes, I turned to my partner and I said, I just want to get in there, into half time at 0 0. Second half, Marcello Bielsa getting amongst them and we'll, we'll see what happens. But, you know, to be fair, West Brom deserved to win the game um, and they deserved to win in the scoreline they did. Yes, we had a lot of possession, but I just think the way Darren Moore set them up, um, uh, they were they were just vicious, man. So so direct, so quick. You know, a lot was made before the game. Not by me. You know, I've opened. I'm. You know, I I put myself out there, and 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 rightly so. You know, I'm going to get criticism. People say, you know, I've seen a comment saying I'm too biased too positive, whatever, you know, I've got my mates texting me, you know, people are liking the pictures and, and, and the videos because obviously I said Roof would get a brace, he'd come back to bite his old side, all that jazz. Listen, I said it, I believed it, it didn't happen, but that's that's what, what I do, obviously, doing this, I open myself up to criticism. But what I will say, and I know, you know, other guys might not agree. Um, I know some of the team don't agree with me. But listen, yes, we've lost. It's the first time all season that we've looked second best for me. Um, yeah, we've lost games previous, but this, this, this game, it, they just look to cut above. Um, and and their attacking threat is a cut above. You know, we, you know, we have roof. We bring on. Tyler Roberts, they've got Dwight Gale, Harvey Barnes, Jay Rodriguez, Hal robson Carnu. You know, so much pace, uh, so dangerous. Um, and, and they set the tone from the first five minutes, you know, when when Carnu and Rodriguez, they were all over us. Um, you know, Adarabaggio, the right back, he should have scored from the, the, the corner, to be fair. He was whiskers away. Then obviously Jay Rodriguez hit the bar. Um, I thought he was dangerous all night and then obviously, you know, Dwight Gale, I just knew when he came on, we'd said at half time, me and the team, that, that when he comes, you know, if it would have still been nil-nil, as soon as he comes on the pitch, you, you start to worry, but even still, man, what was he on the pitch, five minutes and he scores a goal and it was a sweet little finish as well, um, you know, Pablo scored a lovely goal towards the end, a uh, lovely little pass by Saiz, but overall, I don't think we can, we can stay here, uh, sit here, any of us and say that anyone had a decent game. Um, we were just, like I say, second best. Um, and, and Darren Moore set them up right. We all thought they'd go three at the back. I don't know if Bartley being injured changed that. Or they just looked at our attacking threat. Because like I said before, you know, for me, going forward, we're one of the best in the in the league. I said we were the best. Looking at looking at um, West Brom, provided they... If they keep playing that back four, I can't see how they can't barnstorm it. Yeah, they've come off the back of a few bad results. But that's the championship for you. Like, I know the guys have said, you know, look at Norwich. Norwich schooled West Brom. But, yeah, we schooled Norwich and Derby. You know, Derby got schooled today by Villa. But, yet yeah, put four past West Brom, you know. This is what you... It's the championship. These sort of games are going to happen. They just can't happen frequent enough. Um, I don't see another team as dangerous and as direct and as pacey as them in this league other than Derby but we you know we beat Derby at Pride Park and we get to play them at home um so so you know I can't I just I'm not going to sit here and yeah it wasn't good enough um but I don't think we can let's not Let's not be too negative, you know, even like during the game, I think it was nil-nil, first 15 minutes, I had a little cheeky look on Facebook because I seen a comment put, put, uh, pop up and, and someone had said, why are Cooper and Alioski in this side, they are just not good enough. They didn't put a foot wrong up until that point, do you know what I mean? They hadn't done no wrong, so straight away we're on the negative. Um, but listen, I'll find positives, me, like... Um, you know, I'm that guy that when we were fucking 13th and stuff, I'm still counting to see if we win this game, this game, this game, we'll still get into the top six. That's me. That's just who I am. Um, but I am, I am real, but, but 
Maybe I'm over positive, I don't know, but I just see this right, okay, we've lost, it's the championship, you know, look at look at West Brom getting battered, look at Derby getting battered before, look at what we did to Norwich, look at all this, you know, stuff. Um, <sighs> Borough getting beat by Forrest comfortably, and, and, and uh, you know, these games are going to happen, it's how you react, yeah? We've got the international break now, we come back, we've got Bristol City, um... And then we've got Chef Chef United, which is another massive game. So let's not go too wild. That's just my assessment. You know, yeah, we do. Like even people said, right? Okay, we need uh, we need to bring bring in people in January and that. We needed to bring in people in January anyway. Um, this game, I, I just I just think just how even even in the first half, man, they were just letting us have the ball, um, letting us pass it around between Cooper and Janssen and forcing us into mistakes. And when we make them mistakes, because of how quick and how direct they turn defence into attack with a ball over the top or just a, a defence splitting pass, and the pace they have, uh, the pace they possess, they were always going to be dangerous. Um, and like I say, we defend big spaces um, with only a couple couple of personnel. Um, it's never packed in tight. Like, for example, West Brom, I thought their back four tonight, whenever it went in there, the Hagazi had a, had, a, had a great game, to be fair. Um, Adorabaggio had a good game. Gibbs played well. Um, you've just got to give props to West Brom. Um, uh, they were the better team tonight. We just weren't at the races. Well, listen, I can't even, apart from Dallas, right, and <laughs> it's funny because me and Connor had a bit of a debate at half time, you know, he was hammering Dallas, but I don't think Dallas had that bad of a game first half. You guys might disagree. I couldn't pinpoint. Yes, we were the we were second best and we were the worst team, but I just couldn't pinpoint any individual during that first half that had done anything major. I think it was evident that our our um, outlet was the left left side. Douglas, I thought he had a top game. Why BLs are subbed him, I do not know. If you're going to make a sub, take Alioski off uh, for me. If you're going to bring in Harrison, I don't understand the introduction of Harrison. Um, because he hasn't been in and around the side for quite a, quite a few games now. Uh, Roof was ineffective. But I also don't think Tyler Roberts was the answer as well. Um, I, I think Saez needed to be introduced earlier. Even maybe at half time. Click wasn't at it. So, you know, like we've said before, Bielsa is God. But he's, uh, he's, not, he's not exempt from criticism. And I thought the subs tonight were just wild. Um, and Douglas, rightly so, was unhappy because for me, he was our only outlet in that first half. Even towards the end of the first half, Matt, Matt Phillips had started to drop back to, to help out uh, Adora Baggio because Douglas was getting so much joy. Well, I say joy, but you know he was getting so much possession. Um, we had the one chance in the first half click with a bit of a snapshot, um, but it was straight at Johnston. Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't really... You know, there's nothing positive out of the game. I think the one positive out of the game is is uh, Saez's little flick um, over to Hernandez and a lovely little he header over Johnston. Um, and uh, I, I said a couple of weeks ago as well, um, and I'm not jumping on the lad because he is young, but I did question Bailey, and you can't tell me for, for that second goal. Yes, Click gives it away, but again, that's down to Phillips's... Um, just aggression and the way he wants to win the ball. It was a lovely tackle and he's straight up and he's so powerful. Phillips is the winger that we miss. You know, the winger that we're crying out for. Um, if you compare the wingers that we have, obviously you're never going to swap Pablo. Pablo's a magician, he finds space wherever. But in terms of on the left-hand side, you know, when you look at Harrison, when you look at Alioski, these wingers that we have, even if you're going to play Roberts out there or Roof, none of them possess what Phillips has and, and that's what we miss. And rightly so, he got the man of the match tonight. Um, I thought I thought he was class, but yeah, I mean, he shouldn't score for me. Um, Bailey's had a bit of a had a bit of a nightmare there. Um, could you even say he could have done better with Carnews? You know, the first one. I know, obviously, Dallas is way out of position. I I still even think as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the Harvey Barnes goal. It's um, you know, it gets kicked out and it, it's towards Harrison and Adarabajo straight on Harrison and manages to flick it through to Barnes. But even when you play that back or look at it, you, Dallas is is too far forward and uh, and Barnes is in so much space. Um, and also it's the same with uh with the first goal. Um, for for Carney, he he doesn't even bust the gut to get back. So you know it's it's 
really funny because this is what I mean. Like last week, he had a mint game at Wigan. I'd said before the Wigan game, after we played against Forest, put out a tweet, Dallas is not a fullback. I then eat my words because he has a really good game against Wigan. But we were playing Wigan. But listen, we mustn't forget that Wigan were unbeaten at home and have been unbeaten at home since fucking Blackpool in 2017-16, whenever it was, right? Back in League One. Um, so it's still a good performance. Um, but tonight, and, and to be fair... You know, to be fair, Connor and Oscar, they said to me, you know, he's he's going to get really tested. We're going to see if Dallas is a fullback um, t tonight. And and he just wasn't at the races. We did miss uh, Miss Ailey. And even going forward, I think at times there was one. I remember Pablo's um, on the edge of the box. Can't, can't remember roughly what minute it was. But Dallas was in space and he just missed him out. Turned back inside. Um, I think he's took a look. Dallas, nah. I'm going in here, um, and it came to nothing. But I just thought, props to to West Brom. Um, they were they were quality tonight, and had they have lined up with three, and 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 maybe it uh, it it shows how well regarded we are as an attacking threat. That he said, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to a four and and play a different way. But it just worked for them. And if I was a West Brom fan, um, I would want it to remain that way because they look so so dangerous, um. But let's not look at it and say, all oh, right, OK, well, Norwich comfortably beat them because, um, yes, we had these mint performances quite some time ago, but we're still in and around there. We're third in the league now. Um, do you know, I think what's Norwich and, and Borough have got 31. We're on 30, I believe. Um, it's still tight in there. Um, you know, we go the international break now and, and let's see where we're at. But listen, this is the first time really that, that we've been schooled. Yeah, the first time in what seventeen games, um, it's it's this happens in the championship. You just have to look at the results so far. That I'm just pleading, pleading with fans to not get carried away. You know, I know I'm gonna look on social media after this, and and there'll be so much doom and gloom. As I said, even during the game, people were having a going at individuals, and they didn't even have that bad of a game. It's just what we do. But I'm pleading with you to not do that. You know, remain positive. We've we've lost the game. We've been comfortably beat. But they will do that to teams West Brom, especially in the form that they're in. Um, if they, sorry, I say form that they're in. They've been in poor form. But I mean, if they if they play that way, moving forward, they they're going to do that to a lot of teams. Um, I mean, they put seven past QPR for fuck's sake, and that and that's a thing. Yeah, even there, right? When we say, all oh, right, okay, what about Norwich? What about Derby? All this stuff. Look at QPR, man. McLaren's just got man, uh, manager of the month. And fucking this West Brom side put seven past them. And now look where they are. So let's not get carried away. If, if anything, that tells you what you need to know. Because all you need to do is look at QPR and say, right, okay. They got battered. They got seven past them by this side. Look where they are now. Yeah? It's one game. Let's not get carried away. Yes, it was terrible. You know, I, I broke my pen. You know, last night because I'm fro fro yeah, we all are angry. Yes, it wasn't good enough, but let's not get carried away. We're still third in the league. It wasn't our best day out, um, and it, it, it's the worst performance for a long time. But under Bielsa, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if they're going to be staying back. I know they did. I think after the, uh, I think it might have been the Birmingham game or the Blackburn game. They're going to be staying back and they're going to be watching that back because it wasn't good enough. But you have to question as well. Bielsa's substitutions for me because I don't know why you bring Douglas off he hasn't got a knock you can see when he comes off he's fuming himself so you don't bring off Do Douglas um, question marks over Bailey as I say for that goal I said a couple of weeks ago he hasn't really been tested he got tested tonight he was found wanting he conceded four yes they're not all his fault but that second definitely was it was poor goalkeeping um, does Blackman get a run out I don't know I don't know. Um, we've got two weeks off now. We're not back till the twenty fourth. But no one, no one covered themselves in glory tonight. I think only Dallas really is the one that you have to say. Yeah, you had a shocker. Um, and Bailey, of course. But outfield wise, I just think like Pablo wasn't on it. Um, but their their back line, it was just so crowded, man. There wasn't there wasn't move um space for us to move in. Um, when we did get it on the left, as I say, um. That was our best outlet in the first half, Douglas, and then obviously in the second half he, he changed it. Um, 
but yeah, um, it is. Yeah, I mean, I guess Connor Connor's messaged me and he, he mentioned about personnel in January. Of course, we need personnel. Um, we do need personnel in January. We need a Matt Phillips, you know, like a winger like that who's just gonna gonna be able to just run at teams uh, and cause havoc. Harvey Barnes. I mean, look at Harvey Barnes. Apparently, he picked, you know, it came out a couple of weeks ago on the Inside Ellen Road podcast. He was close to joining Leeds. He'd almost well, they was they were even saying tonight on Sky that he'd picked his number. So it'd be interesting to know what actually happened there because he'd have been ideal in this side uh, in replace of an Alioski. Do you know what I mean? He's it's them sort of players that we're missing in this side. They're an outlet. You know what I mean? It's all good giving it Douglas and he was class tonight. But if you've got someone of Phillips or Barnes them type of players that that ilk of player he can then just knock that on and in he's away as opposed to Alioski who um he doesn't really go past men uh as often as you want a winger they're not them quintessential wingers um that you you need in this league you need pace and you need wingers um so we do need to 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 invest in January in that type of players because it showed tonight um how vital they are and how they get you out because listen even if you look at West Brom, right, I think they kept showing it up on the Sky Cam on, on, on the game. Um, the fact that they've won more games when they've had minimal possession as opposed to when they've got more. Um, I think they've won four, maybe five now where they've had less possession. So it shows just how vital them counter-attacking players are for them. And tonight, it worked wonders for Darren Moore. They needed it, you know what I mean? And, and, and rightly so, they, they got, you know, they got what they deserved end of but we move on now guys i'll uh, leave your comments in this you know even west brom fans i mean i said roof's gonna come back to bite you and look i ended up with egg on my face um even my mates my borough fan mates are texting me because i was winding them up because we were top of the league and, and and now we're not you know but you open yourself up to criticism and rightly so so make sure you get your comments in um because obviously monday night football's coming up we've got the international break so me and the team will also be doing a a review from the last international break up to now um, and make sure you watch Connor and Oscar's videos as well because they'll be going live Oscar's um, watch the game but he's at the Bellu fight tonight come on the bomber um, but I know Connor's, Connor's eager to get his out as well because his will be a lot different to mine believe that <laughs> we're like polar opposites but we're both you know I, I, it's a fair assessment I'm just a positive guy man and I always will be some guy called me biased I'm not biased um, listen, if we were doing shit, I wouldn't be going into games thinking that we could comfortably beat teams. Um, you know, if we're if we're down the lower end of the league and I'm uh, and I'm saying right, okay, we're gonna we're, we're still gonna beat top of the table. That is is bias. That's been daft. Yeah. Prior to this game, I did think we would beat West Brom. We haven't. We get over it. I get over it. You know what I mean? Um, it feels shit. It'll feel shit going back to work. It'll feel shit reading your comments saying, told you so, told you so. But it is what it is, man. But make sure you do put them in and make sure you like, share, subscribe. Um, get it shared on your social medias. Make sure you hit subscribe button, hit the notification button. Leave your comments because, like I say, Monday night football's coming around as per. And I'll go into them uh, and we'll have, uh, like I say, I'll always give a fair, fair, fair shake. Do you know what I mean? I was wrong. Um... It was shit. We were shit. It feels shit. But we move on, guys. Um, and I'll see you all on Monday. I'd say enjoy enjoy the, the the rest of your weekend, but you probably won't now. But listen, watch the Bellu fight if you if you want something to do because, as I say, that'll be a barnstormer. Uh, and hopefully Tony will do it. Do the biz. Anyway, guys, thanks as always. It's a pleasure. Marching on together. Keep the faith, man. Stay positive for me. And I'll see you all on Monday. Leads, leads, leads.